James Beats on Instagram asked me when I charge big waves, am I comfortable? Over the course of so long, riding big waves for 15 years, it's um, it's a growing level of comfort. But there are definitely those days where I'm at kind of that threshold of you know whether it's the size or how heavy the wave is, where um, I do get nervous and I'm kind of stepping outside of that comfort zone, and that's what. Um, the big allures of, of big wave surfing is for me is that kind of personal challenge to overcome you know that sense of fear that is created when you're stepping out beyond that comfort so but um as with most things in life you know the more that you do it the more time and energy um, you put into training and studying you know, that level of comfort and the confidence that you have grows so you know, having done it for you know, dedicated 15 years of my life solely to you know, riding big waves um you know, relatively comfortable but there's still those moments where you know I'm scared shitless out there. Martin Mello on Instagram asked during a wipeout when I'm holding my breath what do I think about? I think the main idea whenever you're you know, being held under is to just relinquish control um, that you know you're in an environment where you can no longer fight and, and you know you just have to go with the flow and you know, the idea is to conserve as much oxygen and energy as you have. Um, so for me, you know, I just simply try not to think that I empty myself entirely out and just completely relax. Um, you know, even in my opinion, you know, thoughts running through your mind of, you know, thinking, okay, you know, how am I going to, you know, or when am I going to get to the surface or, you know, just consumed with other you know, ideas running through your mind, that's energy to me. So I literally just go into this kind of almost state of total zen of you know, just empty nothingness and relaxing until you know, all that turbulence subsides. And you know, that's the point when I'll kind of click back in and realize, okay, it's, you know, it's time to make a swim for the surface. So um, yeah, it's really for me just you know, letting go and you know, finding that, that peace under water. And for me, there's not much thought that actually takes place in those moments until I do need to swim for the surface. Callum Skater 4 on Instagram asked, why do I prefer to ride big waves? The answer to that is um, very simple really, that for me the bigger and heavier the wave is, the greater the physical and mental challenge it is to actually ride. And in turn, you know, you're provided with um, a greater sense of accomplishment. And you know, I realized this when I was you know, about 13, 14 years old, that um, the heavier it was, the bigger it was, the more it took for me to kind of concentrate and actually you know, successfully ride these waves. And I would leave the session, you know, even if I didn't catch a wave, if I just got my ass kicked, you know, that there was this sense of gratification and accomplishment that, you know, you really were part of something special. And that was the attraction, you know, back then and you know still to this day you know, that's one of the greatest allures is again that physical mental challenge and learning to overcome those you know, feelings of fear that um, you know, I still feel when I'm out there and learning to control my mind in those situations so I'm not you know, reacting and panicking in a negative way but um, you know using that fear as uh, almost a motivator or something that um, you know, pushes me to go beyond my comfort level so it's um, yeah, it's really what it comes down to. It's it's a greater challenge, and you know, with that comes a greater reward at the end.